guys, it's Kate from Aaron Space. I had a great question yesterday about how you can tell how old a piece of furniture is. Um, one of the things that's interesting about American furniture design is that we continuously recycle the design elements um, that, that we see for various periods of furniture. So here we have a lovely federal form uh, mahogany chair. This is shield back and it's got this great Grecian revival element here with these lovely tasseled tapered splats. Um, it's quite sophisticated. It's very well built. It's completely solid mahogany inside and out. Um, and when I bought it for, I think about $10 about four years ago, we did have an interesting discussion with a lot of my antiques dealer friends about how old it actually was, if it was first period or second period. So for the first time, as I'm redecorating my front porch, I'm taking the uh, cushioning off, taking the upholstery off, and it's giving me a lot more insight into the construction of the chair as I look at it more closely. Um, so in the 18th century, and this chair were it first period, which is to say the first time that we see these design elements being used in an American furniture design, um, this chair would have been from about 1785 to 1805, 1810. Then we see a second wave of the same design being revived between about 1915 and 1940. So the question always is, is it first period, i.e. 18th century, or is it second period, which would be 20th century? And the difference in value is extreme. Um, so in the 18th century, furniture was very much an investment. And um, the assumption was when people purchased furniture that it was just like their land and their house, something that their family would inherit and be passed down from generation to generation to generation. So they spent a lot of money on their furniture. And with that money being spent was the expectation that it would be absolutely flawless, gorgeously made, immaculate. And the, the craftsmen that made it took a lot of pride in the construction and the design of their furniture to the degree that we can easily trace specific styles and details to specific craftspersons. For example, um, Samuel Loomis was a very well-known cabinet maker, i.e. maker of furniture in Colchester, Connecticut in the second uh, third quarter of the 18th century and there are specific design details that you see and he made those just to say hey this is me this is my furniture and everyone can now say that that's a Samuel Loomis piece and if you like to see some of those once things open back up again the Wadsworth Athenaeum has a beautiful collection of his of his work on display so um, this is a bit more of an anonymous piece and that already is a little bit of an indicator that it might be second period um, another thing, as I'm looking at it much more closely than I have previously, is that the carving, which I'm going to post a couple pictures that you'll be able to see, um, that this kind of loosely pineapple design that comes down across the splats, and then right here where it joins up again, this is a sunflower. It's fairly sloppy and a little bit unsophisticated. And mahogany was very, very expensive in the 18th century. Uh, so you're not going to do some kind of loosey-goosey work on very expensive material. So it, it again makes me think that this is probably a second period chair. Now, another indication that I have is when I flip it over, and again, you can't see this, but one of the things we always talk about as antique dealers is the level of wear on the bottoms of the feet. Um, so when you think about how many times you drag your office chair across your floor, uh, and then times that by 300 years, it's a lot of wear and it ends up creating a very smooth, almost polished surface. And I can't see that on the bottoms of these feet. Um, also, somebody's put little metal pegs on it. Um, now, that being said, because I have decided that I do fully believe this chair was probably made in the 1920s based on uh, the lack of sophistication in the carving and the fact that I don't see the wear that I would expect to see on a chair that has been used for 200 to 250 years. Um, it doesn't mean it's not a good chair. This is already a hundred year old chair. It's solid mahogany, uh, proofs in the pudding. It looks great. 
and it's been around for a hundred years and it works great. And just like the furniture that was being made in the 18th century, this furniture still is being passed down from generation to generation. And I just want to show you my favorite part of that, which is as I start to take this fabric off, I think you can see, and this just made me laugh so much. So we have some padding and it's ugly. I'm just going to pop these off, but I think you can see this absolutely hilarious 1950s rose pattern fabric, which is just like a little time capsule of somebody else's taste. Uh, and I think that's wonderful that this chair has seen so much sadness and happiness and everyone's lives and it's still here. And I think that's a great reminder to all of us, especially right now, and a great reminder to invest in antiques because they will last uh, unlike modern furniture, which is mostly made of cardboard. So thanks for tuning in. I hope to make a couple more of these videos in the future. And if you have any questions, please post them. Thanks, guys.